Today in PA is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. April's a month of pranks, but these renewal deals are no joke. Buy any window, patio door, or entry door and get the next one for 40% off. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. No April Fools. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com for more information. Some universities think lowering drug costs will hinder innovation. Meanwhile, a consent decree has been proposed for Philips Respironics. Easy pass holders, beware of this scam. Lastly, US Steel welcomes a new eaglet. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. The University of Pennsylvania is among the top research universities that believe President Biden's push to lower prescription drug costs may hinder medical innovation, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. According to them, the administration's proposal, which includes a change in regulatory guidance that would make clear how high prices could be a factor in deciding to license taxpayer-funded drug patents to manufacturers as a way to bring down costs, could scare away private investors. This would stifle commercialization efforts of certain medicines and could harm research in the future due to a lack of funds. Says John Swartley, PhD and Chief Innovation Officer at Penn, investors are not, quote, going to want to risk all of that capital if there's a legitimate concern they could make a substantial investment and then have the license pulled out from under them. Philips Respironics, which has several locations in Pennsylvania, suspended its sales of and recalled its CPAP machines after it was found that a foam which was used to make them could potentially break down and be breathed in or swallowed by users, reports the Tribune Review. This podcast has previously covered this story, and now, in a follow-up, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has proposed a consent decree that would allow for the company to not admit any wrongdoing. However, they will have to hire independent experts to oversee inspections of their facilities and examine procedures related to reports and complaints. Phillips would also have to pay the U.S. Treasury a portion of their revenue for the next five years. Should the decree be approved, and if the company fully complies, it can petition for relief in 2029. Easy pass holders, listen up, states Penn Live. The Pennsylvania Turnpike Association states there's a phishing scam targeting you guys out there. Scammers contact Easy Pass account holders claiming they have an outstanding payment, usually through text from quote unquote PA Turnpike Toll Services. They then ask for account information so this bill can get paid, lest the victim want to pay a late fee. If you get this text yourself, do not click on the link in it, and instead look at your account balance on the official Turnpike Easy Pass website. The bald eagles at the U.S. Steel Urban Plant in West Mifflin have welcomed another hatchling, says the Tribune Review. Urban and Claire, the proud parents in question, agree to their new eaglet on Sunday, which is the result of their seventh successful hatch. There's another egg in their nest, too, which is expected to hatch pretty soon. That wraps up today's episode. For even more Pennsylvania news and beyond, drop by penlive.com. And please don't forget to rate this podcast and to leave it an honest review. Thanks ahead of time. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and we'll talk tomorrow during more Today in PA. Today in PA is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. April's a month of pranks, but these renewal deals are no joke. Buy any window, patio door, or entry door and get the next one for 40% off. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. No April Fools. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com for more information.